If you're following Depp and Heard and events after Virginia, you might know Amber's been walking around on this crutch. Now, the whole thing is, as we know, she said some things about some injuries in Virginia that probably didn't take place. And now it seems she's doing it again, and I think that's why this is getting some attention. But the thing is, this time, she's got some high heels on while she's wearing the crutches. Now, I've never worn high heels. I don't actually think I've ever had crutches either. However, I'd imagine the combination isn't something you want and you wouldn't be able to move so well if you were using that combination. So, Arwen Sparrow says, the crutch is back. I guess she wasn't finished riding the sympathy train yet. Though pairing a crutch with high heel boots is a bit of a giveaway that you really are faking it. So, like I said, I'm no expert, but that makes sense to me. And here we see them. Not bad, this tweet got over 14,000 views. And obviously, a lot of people pitching in their opinion. She's definitely reading our tweets about how she forgot her crotch. I can't tell if they're heels, but I'd say that the sandals she was wearing a couple of weeks ago weren't really supporting her back slash hip posture during a hip injury. What's with the jacket? Is she too lame to put on a jacket now, or does she think her shoulder is sexy? And Arwen says definitely heels. So the heels look a little thick, not like those very thin ones you see on the, you know, dinner outfits and things. But yeah, you could tell they're heels. And Peggy says, this off-shoulder jacket look, it's a thing. Teen in my neighborhood wears it like that too. Maybe Taylor Swift style. I keep seeing it. I want to pull up their jackets. All right. I don't know. I'm in Japan. I don't see it. And Joe says it gives the vibe, whatever that means. And the support goes on and on. Granny says, where's her wrist support? Did she swat on the fly and heal it? Heels with a crutch kind of defeats the purpose, which is what I was thinking. Where's the wrist brace? Did she forget or under the coat? She may have injured her ankle falling off her mountain of lies. Well, I mean, at some point, she's going to take off something, a brace, stop using the crutch. We don't know medically how long it takes to recover, I will say that. However, the quick time frame is a little fishy. Not quite the whole market, but a little fishy. Alexa says, who I think commented last time, a magical crutch that disappears and then appears again. And it appears immediately after our reaction in the comments that her new lie doesn't agree with the old one. She's absolutely stalking us in our comments here. Heels aren't the best solution if you have a leg slash hip injury. Yeah, I gotta say, once again, I'm no expert. Makes sense, though. She's not even using it right. She's lucky those are shallow steps or she'd be on her way down with balance like that and you don't wear heels of any form. And Cookie Crumbs here implies that Amber's not quite in the right state of mind, which is possible. The face of a woman who has realized she shouldn't have kept her mouth shut. She must have read social media and a few people think that. Hey, all she's got to do is log in and check some comments like I'm doing now, so it's not very unbelievable. Not aging well, Hollywood has been not talented enough to get middle-aged woman roles. Excuse me, women roles. All right, you know what I meant. I'm just glad she's wearing a bra or looks like she is, laugh out loud. Well, we do know Amber has chosen not to wear a bra in some interesting places, so okay, sure. And Gemma says... Right up there with the flip-flops in the worst shoes to wear with crutches category. And of course, you've got more and more people talking about this kind of footwear. Now, once in a while, I like to try to play devil's advocate, no matter how irritating it might be. We don't know exactly what type of injury, how serious, recovery time, things like that. It is possible that she needs a crutch sometimes and not other times and things like that. It's possible her hand injury wasn't exactly so bad. The bandage came off real quick. But the problem is, with her track record of making things up, perjury, a DUI, lying on the stand, it makes it really hard to believe. So obviously, you tend to think that, or you'd have, you know, a good reason to believe that it's an act. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Do a shout out, special thanks, things like that. Thank you, Arwen Sparrow, for the tweet. Appreciate it, or post, or whatever these days. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.